What's going on, Crypto Cousins? It's your Bitcoin Baby Daddy here with another episode. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because I make these videos every other day when I feel like it. You know how it goes. So today we're going to be talking about 50K to 500K. Y'all know what it is. Bitcoin just smashed 50K. We know we're going to look at these charts. So, you know, you know, I ain't going to lie. I'm cheesing. I'm cheesing as fuck because it feels good. It feels good. Um... It feels good to see Bitcoin at 50k, but I ain't even gonna hold you guys. Let's just let's just let's just talk about it, dog. So, um, as you guys know right now, um, some news came out yesterday, which uh, this just this just looks this just looks crazy to be honest with you. Um, to be actually be talking about this at like 50k so quickly, a lot of people don't realize like it was just in December we were at 20k from the beginning of December. Um, just in Bitcoin alone, Bitcoin's up 173%, almost 200%. Like that's wild to think that Bitcoin's almost over 200% in the past, like two months. You guys can see right now we're sitting at, um, 50,100, well, we're sitting at $51,274 and it honestly doesn't look like it's holding, um, it's, it's stopping anytime soon. Um, we're in new price discovery. That's just how Bitcoin goes. Like once some, once an asset hits new price discovery, we have no clue when it's going to stop. We have no clue when it's going to slow down and we have no clue um, where the top is going to be. So of course we have these ridiculous, bullish, crazy predictions on where the price is going to go. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself like, well, I mean, if you're going to make a crazy prediction and he going to make a crazy prediction, well, shit, you know, I'm just going to take y'all crazy prediction, put it in a video and pretend like I made a crazy prediction. <laughs> but, um, but let's be honest, but I'm actually tell you guys like where these crazy predictions are coming from, why they think these predictions are the way they are. And so let's just go into it. This first one right here. So a lot of people put a lot of respect and credence to this Kathy woods lady which apparently is like a big hedge fund investor and like um she's just been killing it like her portfolio for her company has just been killing it and mind you this article is from like november 23rd you know what i'm saying this all this isn't even brand new information so kathy wood actually goes into why she expects bitcoin to go to 50 to 500k which would put bitcoin around a 10 million 11 yeah it put bitcoin around a 10 trillion dollar market cap so wood says that institutions have been bumping up their exposure to the cryptocurrency recently drawing a comparison to the early days of institutions moving into real estate and emerging markets where allocations started small then grew they started out with half a percent allocation then one percent then five percent or thereabout seemed to be the right right number if all institutions were to assign the similar mid-range digital allocation to bitcoin the cryptocurrency would rise to somewhat in 400 to 500 thousand dollar range wood says so she's saying so basically what she's saying is um, just like how Tesla just put in like, what was it like 6%, almost 8% of their balance sheet into Bitcoin, which, you know, that was, you know, news of its own. Imagine what happens when all these other companies start doing the same thing, because at the end of the day, they're just going to copy each other. Nobody wants to be late to the game. Nobody wants to be the last company. I was like, all right, y'all, we finally buying some at a hundred K looking stupid while other companies are already getting in the game. So this is what we've been saying for like, you know, months now that this trickle effect of these companies are going to push the price of Bitcoin higher. And the difference between companies investing in Bitcoin and people investing in Bitcoin is that we're people, we're ra we're irrational. We're trying to get rich quick or whatever. While these companies, they could hold on for years before they need to make a return because they that's not their main business model you know especially companies like tesla tesla's main business model isn't investing in bitcoin it's you know energy cars and whatnot so they can just keep accumulating bitcoin for as long as they want and it's not not a phase to them so once we see this cascade of companies continuing to do it you know rumors about apple but personally i feel like apple's going to be the last one to the game because that's just how they are they're always going to be to protect their users they're always the last one to the game but of course um this cassie woods and her arc investments they're they putting their money where their mouth is this is an article that actually came out yesterday talking about kathy woods 
um, holds more than 7 million shares in Grayscale's Bitcoin trust. So if you guys don't know what Grayscale's Bitcoin trust is, it's essentially like a derivative of a Bitcoin where Grayscale goes and they buy Bitcoin off the market and then they sell the shares to the to other companies almost like an etf or whatnot and so and the crazy thing about the grayscale bitcoin trust is that when when bitcoins go to grayscale they never come out there's there's no records of bitcoin coming out of grayscale so it's almost like a black hole for bitcoin so kathy woods she just put it she's you know she put her money where her mouth is and continues to put her money where her mouth is by allocating three seven point three seven point three one million shares into this big um the grayscale bitcoin trust so granted it's not real bitcoin she's not actually going out and buying physical bitcoin like how elon did where they actually got they actually have a hardware wallet somewhere hidden and they actually have bitcoin they're just like well we don't really care for the physical you know asset we're just going to buy a derivative because we just want price exposure to the bitcoin so that's great um, and it just talked, and then this article just talks into more about how much Bitcoin um, Grayscale says they have. Um, and honestly, at the end of the day, I, I more power to you. But personally, me, I want my own Bitcoin. I, I'm good. I'm self custodying. F that. So <laughs> F that derivative stuff. But it is what it is. So now you guys seeing like people like this are what's gonna make other companies FOMO. They're gonna be foaming at the mouth for these coins, dog. And you know what? And we sitting right here chilling, just letting them FOMO at the mouth, just chilling. Like people be asking me, why don't you make content daily? Because I know how it is when you're constantly looking at the price every day and just wondering what's going to happen. Like, nah, I'm good. I, I stopped doing that a long time ago. Yeah, I still check the prices every day, but that level of, oh my God, it dropped 10%. That doesn't affect me like that anymore. Cause I know that I've been through like, three plus years of this so i can ride these giant you know waves and cycles and so that's what most people i think most people should do that's why you should take your time that's why you should slow it down but that's just me talking but the next thing i want to talk about is look at your boy michael saylor all praise to be the michael saylor <laughs> So once again, Michael Saylor is getting more convertible notes. So essentially what he's doing is he's generating debt and he's using that debt to buy more Bitcoin as a company. He's able to do this. And so now they're t he's talking about 60, 600 million more he's going to buy for a private offering. And so as you see this happening, of course, the price is going to go up more news that un like, even though this is the biggest company to like put what they put like their entire cash um, balance sheet in the Bitcoin. And now they're accumulating debt to buy more Bitcoin. This is so degenerate in what he's doing, but he's able to do this because he's like, because he can run it through the company. And so, and it's all legal under like, all legal under the securities act of 19 like all this stuff is doing is legal now granted you know what's gonna happen if he keeps doing this i can see the sec coming after him saying hey um we, we're gonna need you to stop because i don't think you realize what you're doing is illegal they're gonna find a way to say michael saylor what you're doing is illegal you can't do that you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day it's gonna reach a point where too many people are making money too many people like wait till you see people hopping out in lambos bro that's when you realize all right guys this thing is going to be over but you got michael Str michael sailor doing god's work still thank you michael sellers pump us to 500k um but another news so this is one of the biggest things that i saw recently yesterday um nydig registers for a bitcoin etf under morgan stanley named as a participant in the SEC. so um a lot of people don't know that a lot of people haven't been in the crypto space for a while we've been waiting for a bitcoin etf since 2018 like they've been talking about this bitcoin etf forever and company after company continues to file with the sec what is it is the sec that they have to yeah companies after company continues to file with the sec and the sec continues to say bitcoins to 
unregulated bitcoins to this bitcoins too volatile we got to protect our investors from this this and that well i i will i really want to bet a lot of money on this i bet you this one's going to pass and the only reason why bitcoin's co this one's going to pass and bitcoin's gonna pass of course bitcoin's gonna pass the only reason why this one's going to pass is because morgan stanley an og um i guess staple in the old financial system in the old like wall street system because every bitcoin etf before this didn't have an old staple within their financial system attached to it every etf that ever got proposed to them never had one but now they finally have someone that is you know known within the wall street and you know has you know some leverage in wall street to make things happen so the reason and so back going like when they when when you got these big institutions the secs these regulatory bodies talking about man we trying to protect the investors you know we can't be letting no one know they're waiting for the boys club and if you guys understand what i mean by the boys club they're waiting for the boys club's turn to get into it so of course they're not going to prove anything unless the boys club is attached to it and so that's why I really feel like this one is really going to pass. And that, I don't know, man, this might be the top of the bull market. Whenever this one comes through, I'd be worried because when that much money comes in, it's going to come in way too fast and way too hot. And people at the end of the day, people are going to take profits because when you reach like life changing money, you're going to take the profits. I know I'll take the profits. But just going back to this whole Bitcoin to 500K, like for that to happen right now, Bitcoin is sitting at pretty much a trillion dollars. Like even though this thing says 51, um, we're at 51,000, we're sitting at 955 billion. Um, roughly, we're sitting around like a trillion dollar market cap. So one T, give us the one T. And we're about to pass um, Google. We've passed Facebook, like we've passed Tesla, we've passed Facebook, we've passed Tencent, and now we're the number eight, what, asset by market cap? On our way to silver, Amazon, Mark, like, and all the way up to Apple, and then gold. So that's the thing, that's what people don't realize. That's a 10X. To get a $500,000 Bitcoin, we need to be at the market cap of gold to get there and i don't really see that happening this cycle i don't really see that happening like i can see us maybe get into like a two trillion dollar market cap you know what i'm saying like i can mess with it too like getting right under apple being like number three i can see that happening but to to outbeat gold right now 2021 2022 i don't see that happening y'all that's just way too much money for me but you know that's just personally me and my thoughts and my ideas y'all know what i'm y'all know what i'm going for i'm sticking around to 100k and then after 100k you know definitely take some stuff off the table and then see what happens after that and see if i you know i'm gonna stick around just a little but you know me i'm sticking around till we hit a million dollars you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm probably gonna do this for the rest of my life but i ain't even mad at that because this is, you know, making this content, it really does help. But I, I'm doing all this talking. I need to know what you guys talking about in the comments below. So let me know in the comments what you think about everything. Do you think Bitcoin can hit up 500K? Let me know in the comments. Other than that, check me out next time. Take it easy. Peace. Yeah. Every other day when I feel like it, you know how it goes. <laughs>